guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome so today we are doing yet again another doll rama haul i am super excited about this haul i actually picked up a lot of goodies that i've been on the hunt for for a while finally found them and then i also got some other stuff as well so can't wait to show you guys let's go ahead and get into the haul all right i want to go ahead and start with this item first because honestly you guys this is such a good deal so this is like a razor set i guess you could say so it comes with one handle and then it comes with six blades and this was only four dollars i'm like how good of a deal is this? Like I still can't get over how many you actually get in here for the price. I went ahead and looked this up. I think it was either on Walmart or Shoppers and I think it was about nine to 12 bucks. So to get something like this for $4 is amazing. I really just could not get over that they had a good set like this at the dollar store. I think that's awesome. And I mean, Bic is a brand name. It's a pretty good brand. I think the majority of my razors are from Bic anyways. So I was so happy to see that there. Snatched it up and I'm so glad that I got this. All right, so if you watched, I think it was my last Doll Rama haul, then you'll know that I picked up the Vanilla Vibes perfume. And I said in that haul, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to pick up the rest at some point for sure. So I ended up actually getting the exclamation perfume. And I gotta say, you guys, I really really like this one. This one is a little bit more I would say kind of girly and like candy-ish than the Vanilla Vibes one. Like the Vanilla Vibes one was actually a little bit more spicy than anything and this one is definitely a lot more sweet. So again like the other perfume it comes in a really pretty packaging and then this is what the actual bottle looks like right there. Oh my goodness you guys it is just so good. I think I might actually prefer this one over the vanilla one I think which is crazy because I love vanilla but like I said that one's definitely a lot more spicy this one is definitely more sweet and I did say the size of this in my last video but just in case you missed that one and you're curious about the size this is a 0.375 fluid ounce bottle so yes pretty tiny but I really like it and I can't remember if I said this or not but this was four bucks this one I'm so excited about you guys so I picked up a new scarf this is what it looks like right here it's nice and chunky and fluffy and it's really really soft too so this is from the brand true north it was four dollars and it's in this really pretty like beigey taupe color and then i love how it has like the little fringe on the bottom there i think that's so cute but the reason i picked this one up is because i need a new scarf but <laughs> but besides that i saw pretty much the exact same scarf at zara for probably triple the price and you guys they had so many different colors in this style scarf now the weird thing is they had different colors but some of the different colors were like a different material but it was the same style scarf if that makes any sense so i went ahead and picked up the softer material because one of them was like a little bit of that like itchy scratchy you know what i mean and i did not want to have that around my neck i would literally just go insane if i had to have that material against my skin so super glad that i went with this one like i said so soft so cozy it's been so chilly here outside like the past few days so i cannot wait to wear this i'm really excited and i actually really like this brand name true north i've noticed they have a lot of nice stuff like when it comes to hats, gloves, scarves, anything like that, they have really nice quality stuff. So super happy with this. Can't wait to wear. All right, so this is the next thing that I picked up right here. I am so excited about this. So this I'm gonna use as a charcuterie board. Every time I say that word, I have to kind of like think about it first charcuterie it's quite the word i think i have a weird obsession when it comes to charcuterie boards like i love looking at them like <laughs> i'll be on pinterest just like looking at different charcuterie boards or instagram or anything like that i love looking at them they're just so like aesthetically pleasing so i figured this would be perfect honestly for you know not a huge charcuterie board but i feel like this does fit quite a bit and honestly you guys it's really nice quality that's one thing about dollaram is like wooden cutting boards or you know serving boards is that they're actually really great quality and i don't know if i said this or not but this was four bucks okay i might as well go ahead and show this one next because it's another cutting board so i picked up this one right here this one is just your typical like basic white hard plastic cutting board but i really really like it it's really nice quality what i like about this too is nothing like slips around on it i feel like when it comes to cutting boards like this it's always nice to replace them because i know for me anyways mine are always getting like scratched or marked up or even stained so i always like to replace mine this was like four bucks i believe three or four bucks something like that you guys know i'm terrible with prices but i really like this i might as well go ahead and show this item next because it is kitchen related so i picked up the infamous butcher knife this thing has been everywhere on the Facebook group. If you're a part of the Dollarama Facebook group, then you know what this is. This knife has been basically all I've seen over the group. So this is what it looks like right here. It's a pretty big like butcher knife. So you guys up close here, so hopefully you can see the knife a little bit better. So I've already used this knife. Obviously I don't have it in the like original packaging anymore, but I really like it. It's good quality. And as you guys can see, it comes with its own like holder. And in this thing, it actually comes with a knife sharpener. So I thought that was actually pretty neat. So this is from the brand forever wear and it was four dollars but again i really like this item okay next i went ahead and picked up a new mug you guys know 
I love my mugs. <laughs> okay, I can't resist a good mug. So this is what it looks like up close here. It is a newer style mug, and I just thought it was so adorable. And I just noticed, you guys, one of these dogs kind of looks like Tang a little bit. Honestly, can't remember the exact price, but I want to say it was around like $2.50. I think I've said this before in probably like a couple hauls, but honestly, when it comes to the dollar store's like mug section, I'm not always a big fan because I feel like they don't get new mugs in too often so when they do actually get new mugs in i'm always so excited so you know i had to pick this up so this is the next item that i picked up right here this is from the brand the cream shop it is the lush and plush medium powder puff now the reason why i picked this up is because i've been seeing people literally all over tiktok use this for like setting their under eyes instead of like a regular sponge so i'm like you know what i want to try that out and give it a go and you know just see what it's like i really don't ever use any kind of sponge like this so might as well give it a go Let's just go ahead and open it up and see what the sponge actually feels feels like so it does have a little place for you to kind of hold it and that's what the sponge looks like right there I actually really like the size of this puff I don't think it's too big or too small what I've seen people do when it comes to their under eyes is they kind of like fold it in half and then really just like pat on the under eye okay next I picked up some tights these are from the brand silkies I got mine in a size B and they were a dollar fifty so when it came to these they didn't have any like number sizing it was just in letter format so the only sizes they had are B, C, and D. So it says for size B, the size I got, it is um, five foot to like five foot seven, which is my height. So I think they should fit me. I think they should be good. Basically, I think B is small, C is medium, and then D is large. So I'm hoping these fit me. Cross my fingers. <laughs> Honestly, I picked these up because I literally don't have any tights whatsoever. I hope these aren't the kind that you can just like put a hole through like so easily. So yeah, I'm excited to try these out and hopefully they don't rip. <laughs> okay, so I have quite a few like body products and like bath products. So I'm gonna try to go through that kind of quickly and we're gonna go ahead and start out with this bad boy right here. So this is a newer item. It's from the brand Tree Hut and it is the Sun Kiss Sands Moisturizing Hydro Light Gel in White Clay. Hopefully you guys can see that there, but it is literally like a thick gel. Oh my goodness, it smells so good, you guys. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of um, Mahogany Teakwood from Bath & Body Works. It kind of has that like cologne scent to it. It's really good. So basically, if you're wondering what this product is or what it actually does, you put this on after you shower and you can put it on wet or dry skin. So I have actually used this already and I put it on pretty much immediately after I got a shower. So my skin was still a little bit wet, but it wasn't like soaking. And I gotta say, I really enjoyed it. It's really nice and cooling on the body. It's also super moisturizing and it just goes on your skin so nicely and it also just left my skin feeling really nice and hydrated which is the main thing um, so I'm really impressed with this they also do have another scent in this as well I believe of course I can't think what it is right now but they do have I believe two scents for this so this is the next item right here this is from the brand dial it is their sugared plum moisturizing body wash and it does say that this one is limited edition so I don't know if you're able to get this one anymore it's probably honestly just a Christmas scent but you guys oh my goodness this smells phenomenal and I can't get the top open oh my goodness it's so good it's essentially exactly what it says it is it's just like sweet plum candy fruity it's, it, it's just so good <laughs> I can't even speak it's that good I actually really enjoy the brand dial I think they honestly have a lot of great scents what I like about this one too you guys it lathers so well and that's like one thing I really look for when it comes to any like body wash products is it's got a lather. Okay, next we have this one right here. This is from the brand Mark Anthony. This is their Texture and Waves Invisible Dry Shampoo, and it's in the scent Tropical. So it says this is free from sulfates, parabens, and falflates. I always, I never know how to pronounce that last one. I always mess up on it. I have tried so many different dry shampoos. It's literally insane. And I gotta say, I actually really do like this one. And Mark Anthony is a pretty good brand as well. All right, so next I have some shaving cream. This is by the brand Gillette. This is their Satin Care Sensitive Skin Shave Gel with Aloe Vera. Now when it comes to shaving cream or shaving gel, whatever you want to call it, this is pretty much the only one I can use. I don't really think I have sensitive skin, but for some reason when it comes to shaving my legs, I cannot do any other shaving gel besides this one. It's got to be for sensitive skin. If it's not, my legs will just absolutely freak out. Like sometimes my legs will literally break out in a rash if I use any other shaving cream besides this. Normally I use um, baby oil, but if I'm using a shaving gel or cream, it's got to be this one right here. All right, next I have some shampoo and conditioner. This is from the brand Live Clean. I'm always really excited to see them at the dollar store because it's a good brand. So this is the Live Clean Sensitive Hypoallergenic Shampoo. And then I have the Live Clean Biotin Extra Body Conditioner. Honestly, what I really enjoy about this brand is that they're pretty natural. So it is 98% plant-derived, SLS-free, foul-flay-free. <laughs> 
I'll never say that we're right. When it comes to shampoo and conditioner, I always like to try to get, you know, as natural as I possibly can. All right, so this next one I am super excited about. It is this beautiful plant pot. Look at this, you guys. I believe it was my last haul. I got another plant pot as well. Love that one. That one's gorgeous. But this one is so pretty. I like, I love the detail on this. It's a really nice, like, embossed um, print. Just seriously so pretty. And it might look like two different things here, but these are just both attached. So this one was $4. Honestly, I think that's a great price for something like this. And it is 17 centimeters by 13 and a half. So pretty decent sized pot. It's pretty big. I think it's, it's actually pretty a lot bigger than the one that I got in my last haul. Honestly, you guys, the dollar store is like really stepping up their like vase and plant pot game. So if you're looking for something like this, hit up the dollar store. All right, so next I went ahead and picked up this glass jar. It also does come with the lid. And basically I picked this up to put like Tide Pods in just to make it look like a little bit cuter. But honestly, you could do a lot with something like this. You could do like a cookie jar or even store like clothes pins in. I know a lot of people, they buy these for that like Oreo thing. I'll go ahead and pop a picture up on screen if you don't know what I'm talking about. But I know a lot of people do that with this kind of jar. But anyways, I think this is super cute. I believe this one was four bucks, but it's also a really nice glass as well. Okay, the last two products I picked up are kind of on the random side so I got this one right here it's essentially just a little organizer thing and honestly I bought this to kind of put it next to my microwave because I feel like that's the spot where things tend to gather if it's like car keys or packs of gum or pens so yeah that's why I got this to put it next to the microwave so everything can just kind of go in here and not be so messy so this was a dollar 25 and I actually think it's pretty cute it's a really pretty gray color like I don't know how well that color is coming up on camera but it's almost like a creamy gray if that makes any sense but i just think it's super cute all right and last but not least i picked up this bag right here this was a dollar fifty and it's essentially like a folder bag with a zipper <laughs> kind of a boring item i know but basically i just picked this up for like tax time just to keep everything like organized because sometimes i'm definitely not the greatest with that so hopefully my receipts will be a little bit more organized now all right you guys that was everything in my dollarama haul if you enjoy videos like this i do a bunch on my channel i also have an entire playlist dedicated to all my dollar store hauls which i will go ahead and link up here and also put in the description right below but definitely go ahead and subscribe if you're into these videos but anyways i really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give it a big like and subscribe because i would really appreciate that also if you want to go ahead and keep up with me outside of youtube i do have instagram and tiktok and i'll go ahead and link those down below so i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you in my next video bye guys